Actually, for the weather forecast, it's it's very important like to to get the good window. So um, we we will check a bit like the forecast, like month term forecast, a meteor blue, a bit that to get an average picture. And um, actually, this time of the year, it will be other expeditions in the mountain. So in the base camp, we can go just looking <laughs> at the the other people like. To, to have different visions and like to, to have different weather forecast and to 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 see if they match or not. And then for the um, for the attack day, yeah we will call to to a meteorologist uh, here uh, to get exactly the what he thinks and the times to to know sure like uh, if a storm is coming or something is coming. Uh, and it's it's interesting I think like how it works normally like uh, they a meteorologist can send you the what he thinks what, what he's in the maps and you can see okay uh, uh, he said it was knowing like five centimeters and you see that it was knowing like two or ten so you give back the the feedbacks and the winds the same so he can modify a bit the the maps too yeah it, it changed a lot i think like when you when you can have a kind of a prediction like to see how it will look in two days or three days like after that it, it's it's never really good but but yeah at least you know like where are you going uh 50 years ago they were just looking okay it looks sunny hopefully it will it will stay like you can have some ideas but uh, in in these big mountains where the weather it can change so fast it's important or it's a good chance we have today with the with the forecast like the, the weather in malayas I, I would say it's pretty stable on the way because it's a it's a continental mountain it's far from the sea uh, so it's it's kind of a, it's not like on Alaska or in Scandinavia where it can change like in in a day you can have like 10 kind of weather different it's more like in in Colorado or in the Alps where the the systems they come and go like slower but the, the big difference is like uh, when you get a cloud like you are in the mountain and it's, it's some clouds coming uh, if you are climbing in a in a Fortiner or in the Alps, like it comes, it can fall like a five centimeters of snow, come a bit of wind and then go away. And like you just uh, spend like one hour a bit in cold and then you go down. The, the problem in Himalaya is when this it comes and it comes this bad weather, uh, it can be good weather in the morning and then in the afternoon it comes a cloud, it comes some wind. The problem is like if it's 20 centimeters of snow, fresh snow, uh, it's a 4,000 meter uh, phase, so 20 centimeters of snow, if it gets wind effect, it will not break for 20 centimeters, it will break for 4,000 meters, so the avalanche it will come, it, it's huge, so the, the danger is that, that's because the mountain is much bigger, the danger on conditions, it, it gets, uh, like if you fall or if you have an avalanche come, it, it gets uh, much bigger. Grander scale. Yeah, the, the scale, it's... Yeah, it's not because the mountain is taller, but that's not the the size of the mountain. Because if the mountain is uh, eight thousand meters, the base of the mountain is huge. Like you can put, uh, we are calculating. I think you can put eighty Matterhorns in an Everest. It's not because the, the altitude is only the double, but like the base, it's it's huge. So the mountain is it's massive.